How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I am Travis, and I am one half of the Cultural Discussions. And I am here today to give my review and my reaction to a young lady that claims that dating is hard. I, I just don't understand how some of these women claim dating is so hard. But let us review. Do you want to know the real reason why dating nowadays seems like pulling teeth? It seems like it's the most hardest, stressful thing in the world. The men are poor. Yeah. The men are broke. Okay? They don't have it. They don't have it. See, back in the day, because we live under the patriarchy, especially here in America, a man assumed all the entire financial risk of dating and it worked back in the day because men had disposable income now capitalism is crushing all of us the men don't have disposable income first of all why must you shame men who you don't even know she says that dating is hard because men pretty much don't have disposable income anymore. No, they don't have disposable income for you. Men are still dating. They're probably not dating you. And why should anybody date you when you're shaming people online? You have not dated every man in the world or in the United States or in Canada or Africa or South America, wherever the hell you are. Obviously, you speak English, so you're probably in one of these English speaking countries for the most part. But you started off your statement by shaming men who have done nothing to you. The men who you choose are broke and poor. And let's be all the way honest, gentlemen. You don't have to take some of these idiots on dates. Many of these idiots are ungrateful. A lot of these idiots have three or four dates a week. So why the hell should a great man like myself waste his hard earned money on an ungrateful woman who is just going to down talk men online? Let us continue. So they can't even afford to spend, you know what I'm saying, $40, $50 at the movie with a woman unless they feel like they're 200% sure that it's going to work out. But the reality is you can never be 200% sure without dating that person. Like they're trying to skip steps. First of all, nobody's trying to skip steps. And I remember she did mention that capitalism is killing all of us. So if capitalism is killing all of us, that means you're included in any man that you're interested in is included as well. Yes, dating is expensive, especially if you're not in love, because as a man, you're not going to sit here and take this woman out to eat and take this woman out to eat. So, yes, in these day and times, the way finances are, a man should take out a woman that actually likes him instead of a woman that he's guessing on. I don't want to guess if you like me because I can keep my hundred to hundred and fifty dollars that day and stop shaming men when you just said that capitalism and inflation in the economy is killing all of our pockets. Some of these women are highly unaware. But they come from a place of idiocy. They come from a place of arrogance and they come from a place of foolishness. Let us continue. Instead of just acknowledging the fact that they're broke. The average man is truly being priced out of dating. But the thing about men is that men very seldom want to do the work to improve their chances of finding a happy, healthy relationship that meets their standards, right? They don't want to get better jobs or maybe another job capitalism killing all of us they don't want to uh reevaluate what's important to them in a woman they don't want to get a personality read a fucking book read a book have something to talk about when you're talking to women the men don't have anything to talk about what she fails to realize is the men that she is choosing don't have anything to talk about she has shamed the men 
in her whole statement. She says that we're broke. She claims that men don't have anything to talk about. She says men need to read a book. All the highly intelligent and intellectual men out there, they see you from a mile away and they stay far and clear of dirty back foot Rottweilers like yourself. And shout out to the Crimson Cure. She usually says dirty back foot hyenas. I like that as well. But we must shout out wherever we got the source. This woman is crazy. Let's see what else she has to say. And they're in denial. Instead of just accepting all of these things and like doing the work to like better position themselves, the men would rather find excuses as to why it's the woman's fault that dating is so hard. We live in a patriarchy. When it comes to dating and romantic relationships, it's always going to be the man's fault. So once again, everything is always the man's fault, but nothing is ever these hyenas fault. Nothing is ever their fault. There's absolutely no accountability. But I bet you you're not a virgin. I bet you you've slept with many men out here. And I bet you you've slept with the same men that you shame. And it's sad and it's sick.